Welcome back to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. Today, the session is all about principle of greenhouse. Now, the greenhouse works on the air exchanges. That means we have air in the greenhouse and outside the greenhouse. Here, we need to ensure that air outside should always move in and the inside air should always move out. So this is the concept of greenhouse. But again, when we have the maximum level of CO2 in our greenhouse in the nighttime, we need to make sure that in the morning from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., we need not to actually open the greenhouse vents during this time frame because we want all the CO2 present in our greenhouse to be consumed by our plant for photosynthesis and for growing at a faster rate. So let's go ahead in our next slide to learn about the actual principle of greenhouse. Here, I would explain you what is the principle of greenhouse with a balloon experiment. It's very interesting, you would definitely love it. Here, in this balloon experiment, the bottle is greenhouse. And unless until we reduce the air pressure in greenhouse, we cannot bring the outside air in the greenhouse. So, we need to make sure that our vents in the greenhouse is placed in the right position to take air in and push the air out from the top of the greenhouse. So we need to know the right time to open and close these vents. Not like foolish farmers who does not know the signs of vents. So either they keep the vents closed or open in the complete crop cycle. We need to be very careful while closing and opening the vents. There are a few points or I would say a few meter readings which tells us when to open and when to close our vents. For example, if the humidity in the polyhouse is more, we need to make sure that our outside air comes in and inside air goes out. So that time we need to make sure that we open the vents for a while. When the CO2 level decreases in the polyhouse, we need to make sure that the outside air comes in and it gives carbon dioxide to our plants. So we need to open the vents again. When the temperature is very high in our polyhouse, we need to start the foggers, we need to open the vents so that we can have cool air coming in and the hot air going up. So it's only with the experience that you will get to know when to actually open the vents and close the vents. But here I would explain you how opening and closing of vents occur with the help of balloon experiment here. So just consider here the bottle is the greenhouse, the balloon is the air and let's start the experiment here. Here we have balloon for air, bottle as greenhouse. We'll be using a pin to increase and reduce the air pressure in the greenhouse that is in the bottle. We are also using tape here to show you the experiment, how it works. Now we'll place the balloon in the bottle. Let me do that once. And after it's done, I'll just cover the balloon on the edges of the bottle so that it stucks there and don't come out. Now I'll blow in this balloon as you can see on the screen. I'm just blowing it with full pressure here. I'm giving the pressure as much as I can but the balloon is it's not blowing up. As you can see here the balloon is not able to blow. Now what I'll do is I'll just make a hole at the bottom of the bottle here. As you can see what I'm doing now. So the hole has been made there. I'll just place the pin here now. I'll cut the tape here to just show you the successful experiment here now. So just have a look here. I'll just blow the air in the bottle now. Now I'll just cover the hole again. Now just what happened here, I just blowed the balloon in the bottle 
with a hole made at the bottom of the bottle. Now what had happened was there was a difference between the air pressure outside and inside the air. Now when I blew the air in the balloon, the balloon tried to make the pressure equal with the outside air. So now when I created a force with my blow in the balloon, the balloon was actually able to take air and remove the air from the bottle that was present in the bottle earlier with the, from the hole that I made at the bottom of the bottle earlier. Now you must be getting a little bit what actually is happening. So here the air is being blown in the bottle in the balloon. The balloon then removes the air from the bottle and takes the place in the balloon. So this is what happens in uh, polyhouse. The air comes in and the air goes out from the top vent. So we need to make sure that the vents has to be placed in the right position to take air in and push the air out from the top of the greenhouse. Let's move forward. Now, as soon as I remove the tape here to just equalize the pressure, just a moment, let me remove it. Now, to equalize the pressure from the outside air, the balloon actually blows the complete air out. I'll again show you. I'm just blowing the balloon. I'm covering the hole again. So, that means I made the vents open. I made the air come, come in and then I again close the vent. So, this is how it works. I'll just show you with a different uh, scenario now. The hole that I've made there, I'll just suck the air in. Now I'm just sucking the air in from the bottle. Now what is happening, happening here is the air that I'm sucking air, the balloon is actually taking the air from the outside and the bottle air is coming out. So it's vice versa. So you need to know actually how the vents has to be closed and open and when it has to be closed and when it has to be open because this is one of the most important part of greenhouse if you're doing farming in greenhouse that when you have to open it and when you have to close your green vents because all your crop yield it depends on the control environment that we actually do in our greenhouse to give a high yield for our crops now in an open environment, you can just take this balloon as an open environment. Now, if I blow this balloon in an open environment, this balloon will blow like anything. It has a lot many airspace in the outside environment. So it blows like anything. So it takes all the air, all the uh, viruses or all the harmful gases or everything. So here with the control environment, we actually give whatever plants require with the right amount that we need to make sure that plants actually need while we are using our greenhouse for our hydroponic system. So in greenhouse condition, to get proper yield, we need to record following on regular basis on meter scale. One is outside and inside temperature outside and inside humidity, wind speed and direction, rain and solar radiation. With the help of these readings, only then you can have the information of opening and closing the winds of greenhouse. So if it's a very heavy rain or it's very, uh, I would say, if it's very sunny and the uh, radiations they are very strong I would suggest never open the vents because that would uh, automatically just increase the uh, temperature of your polyhouse uh, at that time you have an option of foggers or micro foggers that would help you out to actually reduce the polyhouse temperature or your greenhouse temperature and you can also use fans in your greenhouse that would also help you out to reduce the temperature of your polyhouse with that, you can also use shade nets on the top or on the sides, which can be always made wet during very high temperatures in the daytime. So I hope this session had been a very informative to you all.
So we'll meet in our next session. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.